in some of the Native American uh, dancing and chanting that they would do to create like, you know, uh, a connection between them and nature. And the word cholo, supposedly, I have to verify this, I don't know if this guy's just making it up, comes from choloani. Welcome to the zoo, I'm with my peeps, AK and That's Nikki me. P. And uh, neither of you would be considered cholos, I don't consider myself a cholo either, but I do love cholo culture, which brings Same. us today's big, big deal. deal. All right, guys, so, you know, when I moved to L.A., there is similar culture in Miami, but they don't consider themselves Cholo. Cholo is very much a Mexican-American, really Southern Californian, but, it, it, you know, you do have that in, in the rest of the Southwest. Uh, Mexican-American hip-hop street mm -hmm. culture. In Miami. No, no, I'm not talking about oh, Southwest okay. United States. In Miami, we had, like, the Cuban, Latino, Puerto Rican things that are very similar, but it, would, it was not Cholo. Okay. But we do, I remember growing up, getting into the West Coast and understanding, oh, oh the Cholo vibe. Because we have a word called chonga for chicks that are, like, like booty-based chicks. Mm -hmm. and, and so here you can say chola. It's weird. Anyway, I definitely got into Cholo culture. I remember Lean Like a Cholo was coming in. Oh, yes. yes! Elbows up, side that was to such side. A thing. Elbows up, side to side. And then working here at LA TV and becoming friends with, I don't know if they consider them some Cholo, but they're definitely Cholo ad <laughs> adjacent. You know, my peeps from Inglewood, from Hawthorne. I'm talking about Lalo and Oscar De La Torre. Yeah, Oscar's yeah. definitely not a Cholo. Oscar's like, what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> and Lalo's not a Cholo either, but Lolo's Cholo, cholo uh, you know, he's Cholo yeah. adjacent. He has his friends, he has his peeps. He's, he's, he knows the streets. And I think it's very valuable in LA to have a few Cholo friends, first of all. Do he you guys have any Cholo peeps, friends that you can rely on? He's from the streets. That's right, yeah. See do you guys have Cholo friends that you can do. rely on? I do. I actually, growing up, was obsessed with homies. Dude, oh, I the wrote the whole thing. I directed the show. We were writers on the last season of Homies. Did you collect you the little figurines? The yeah, I have them. I have them yeah. Wait, home that's too. okay. So was there a like a show based on these figurines? Because I knew the figurines. The figurines. Yeah, we we had the figurines. They were they it aired here on Nelly TV uh, years ago. Okay. Um, they were little figurines, and we did like stop motion animation. Oh, but wait, let's get back to dope. Cholo culture. What do you okay. think? What do you think Cholo culture comes from to you guys? Cholo AK, culture. you're from Southern California. I'm sure you grew up with like Cholo yeah. friends, cousins. Um. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in Inglewood, actually. <laughs> um, Inglewood! Up to no good. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I was not affiliated with Cholos, you know. Did uh, you ever date one? No. Why not? Uh, <laughs> I was in my house all the time, which means my mom didn't let me go out. That's why you uh, say so many dad jokes, because you were at home, you know, making jokes with dad. To myself, I laughed to myself, it's cool. Um, but no, I didn't actually, but yeah, I mean, you grew up, it's kind of funny though, because I'm with my housemates, and one of them um, isn't from around here, and I'm used to like fire shots, just and you being like, oh, okay, that's like down the street or whatever. But you know how we had fireworks recently? Mm -hmm. And I still live kind of like, you know, a not, so, a not a good area uh, by uh, by USC over there. Uh, but yeah, they were popping out the fireworks and everyone like getting scared. I'm like, yeah, it's just fireworks. <laughs> um, but that's as close to that as I got, like living in the actual But what about what I mean, but do you appreciate like the the contribution to hip hop and street culture in the United States by Mexican Americans, mainly in Southern California, that we know to be Cholo culture. Or what like, about the cars? I mean, yeah, there, that's there definitely such a, a culture. Huge, yeah, and I, I love that it started off as a derogatory term. You know, I'm from the East Coast, I'm not a Cholo, but I yes. think it's really impressive how they redefined the name and took back the narrative. Well, you know, I want to get into actually the origins of, of Cholo in the next block because we're okay. going to toss to um, Prayers, who uh, is introduced this movement called Cholo Goth. But before we get there you know for me uh, street culture is romantic you know and it has its dangers right and, and it comes from a place of um you know dealing with what you got you know what i'm saying so with the cholo what, what i love about cholo culture you brought up the cars like the low riders you know they took mm -hmm. what the hot rodders there was a hot rod movement in the 40s and 50s here in southern california it was a bunch of like people that went off fought in world war ii came back the biker gangs all that stuff and then what the Mexican Americans did is they took that hot rod culture and then they started dropping the cars down. Mm. They were the first ones to do that, you know? So, and then you have other people that, and there's always been a synergy between, especially back in black and brown. Like, you know, you look at the origins of hip hop in New York, Puerto Ricans had a lot to do with the first, you know, uh, graffiti writers and the first break dancers, especially. A lot of the first rappers were black, but a lot of the first break dancers and graffiti taggers were Puerto Rican. Same thing here in Southern California. When you see a lot of the black hip hop culture, the chronic Dr. Dre, you're seeing a lot of lowriders. Well, lowriders started with the Mexican cholos. So there was a lot of taking, and then obviously the, the Mexican cholos are taking hip hop, you know, elements from the black community. So it really is a synergy. Oh, intertwined. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? Uh, I love but, the fashion. 
Okay, so the fashion actually is inspired by a lot of like Native American stuff. Mm -hmm. How much time do we got in this block? Because I want to know if I should get into it in this block or if I should get into it in the second one, two minutes. Wait, like the long socks? The long, the, okay, I'll get the into it now, pants? and then afterwards I'll get into the pants. Yeah. So Iron? there's a thing called Choloani, and, and there's a guy named Iron Jacket. He has actually a Native American name that I cannot pronounce. Mm. That's like 50 letters long. And he basically got into the roots of where Cholo culture comes from. Some of the dancing, some of the long pants, the long socks, the, um, the, um, what do you call the, what do you call that little step, Lalo, the, um, the Cholo step, what do you call that? You know, that kind of <laughs> like, oh, and especially like, I can't stand up with that, but like having your feet perpendicular, like standing like perpendicular. <laughs> uh, that's dude, just all stance. that comes, okay, so. That's just the stance. When, that, when, that. when you had Spanish colonization and they, they were dealing with uh, Mexica and some of the different, you know, tribes in Central America, Mesoamerica, Southwest uh, um, uh, America, as okay. we know it today, they basically suppressed a lot of their traditions, a lot of their spiritual rituals, and a lot of that got put into Cholo culture in a very esoteric way. So a lot of it is street, a lot of it is hip hop, but some of it has its roots in some of the Native American uh, dancing and chanting that they would do to create like, you know, uh, a connection between them and nature. And the word Cholo, supposedly, I have to verify this, I don't know if this guy's just making it up, comes from Choloani. Which means? Which, 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 which was that, that, that dancing stuff that the, that the warriors would do before they went into battle or before they went hunting or just to connect with God, you know, with, uh, under the influence so of psilocybin or peyote or things like that. Yeah. <laughs>